Hello. In this lesson, we are going to learn about using the final keyword in Java. Four important things to know that we will discuss later. First, the final variable values can't be changed after they are initialized. Second, if a final variable is pointing at an object, the data inside the object can be modified. Three, we sometimes use the final keyword to make constants. And four, the final keyword can also be used on methods or classes. Our first example is a class variable, also known as a static field, that was declared final. In this case, we must declare and initialize it on the same line. Sometimes programmers use final and hard code in a value to create a constant. Diameter of Earth will have the same value throughout the program. The value is definitional of the diameter of Earth, and if we want to change the value, we're going to have to edit our source code. A constant is typically written in all capital letters, with underscores in place of spaces. This lets other programmers know that this is a constant and its value will not change. Let's look at this example here. We have an integer array, declared final. It is a class variable, and it's been initialized with the values 3, 5, and 7. Here, we are changing the value of index 1 to 99. This is legal, because we are not changing the value of an array. An array is pointing to an object on the heap. We are changing the value of the object itself. This is possible, and the compiler will let us do it, but it's probably not advisable because other programmers are going to expect an array will have a consistent value throughout the program. This is an example of something that is not legal. We are trying to change where an array is pointing. We're having it point at a different object, so we are changing the value of the variable an array on the stack. For more information on how Java handles memory, please check out my video on Java memory handling. There will be a link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. If you are watching this for the AP Computer Science A course or test, you can stop watching here. We will continue talking more about the final keyword, but nothing else will be covered on the test. Here we have an example of an instance variable, also known as a non-static field. We have two choices. We can either initialize the value on the same line that we declare it, or we can declare it on one line and then initialize it in the constructors. Line 11 is not legal. Ending location has already been initialized, so we can't change the value since ending location has been declared final. Here is an example of a parameter that has been declared final. Inside this method, useDebitCard, the value of pin cannot be changed. However, if we call useDebitCard again, pin can be assigned a different value. Here we have two examples of final local variables. There's two ways we can initialize them. We can either initialize them on the same line where they are declared, or we can declare them on one line and initialize them on another line. Line 11 is not legal because x value has already been initialized. Here is an example of a method that has been marked final. Methods that have been marked final cannot be overridden in subclasses. So if we make a subclass a final method, we can't override say secret password. For more information on overriding methods in subclasses, check out my video on overriding methods. There will be a link in the upper right hand corner of this video. Finally, here is an example of a class that has been declared final. A class that has been declared final cannot have a subclass. For more information on declaring variables final, check out this website, or type variables, Java, and Oracle into Google.
For more information on declaring classes and methods final, visit this website or type writing final classes and methods oracle into the Google search engine.